Okay, today we're going to take a look at the new cyborg mice. We have the RAT5 and the RAT7. The main difference between these two is the RAT7 is 5600 DPI versus 4000 DPI in the RAT5. You also get some additional accessories with the RAT7. Let's take a look at it here. Here's the packaging. I'm going to open this up. Okay, you've got, um, looks like the CD-ROM with your software on it, and they give you a, um, it's like a, just like a getting started guide, some, uh, so quick getting started guide, and then, uh, let's see what this is, this looks like a um, promotional brochure showing you the features of the uh, mice. Okay, you also have, um, a tin box in here and take a look at that. The, this is a, has the grips so you get with this mouse you get two additional um, palm rests so they're interchangeable and two uh, side grips, uh, pinky grips and a uh, looks like the um, like a holder for the weights. Okay, now we'll take a look at the mouse itself. Okay, so this is the RAT7. Comes with um, a long cord. It's uh, been sleeved with like a cloth sleeving on it. That's USB. You've got a gold-plated connector. Okay, on the mouse, um, got a total of eight buttons. Okay, so starting with the buttons, um, one of the unique features is that we've got on the side here a red button. It's the precision aiming button. And what that allows you to do is you can set up a DPI setting that's lower and temporarily go to that setting while you're holding the button. So let's say if you're in a first person shooter, you could uh, be sniping and when you go into um, look down your sniper scope you set this but you can click this button to go to the lower setting so you get more uh, a lower sensitivity so it's easier because you're zoomed in um, you've got also your DPI button up on the top so you can set your four uh, DPI modes and just click through them so it'll cycle through uh, you've also got here the cyborg mode button what that allows you to do is you can set up um, three different cyborg modes each uh, mode would have different DPI settings and different settings for the five programmable buttons so you, you can switch between the modes just with the click of a button there's a hard, it's hard to see here but there's a little icon that lights up with an LED different um, color indicating the mode all right, so you've got your uh, buttons being your regular left click, right click, scroll click. You've got the buttons on the left side of the mouse. These are by default internet browser forward and backward. Those are programmable though, so you can change those. Uh, you've also got this little scroll wheel button, so that's side scrolling on your browsing. Okay. In addition, this mouse is adjustable. Um, you can change the length of the mouse and the width of the mouse. And you've also got uh, weights on the bottom, you can see here. And it's, um, this can be removed. There's a tool. This is a little uh, Allen wrench. And the weights come off. They're held in place. There's a little spring here that holds them down. Okay, off comes the 
the spring, and there are the weights. It's a metal frame. It's aluminum, so it's not very heavy. So without the weights, it's um, it's reasonable. I like it a little lighter myself, but this is fine. It's got a good feel to it. Uh, we've got this is the palm rest, and this will there's a there's a lock here that lets you move the palm rest. If I can do this, so there's um you look at that. You can pull this. You can get it back pretty far. I think it'll slide all the way off. So this you can replace with the different um, palm rest as well. There's a little notches here that let it catch in place. Okay, this is the uh, pinky rest on the side. You can just use your tool here to take that off. And this is another adjustment right here. This um, changes the position for the thumb rest. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's moving forward and kind of out as I do that. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the mouse itself. It's got a soft rubber texture to it. Um, it's a nice looking mouse. It's a, definitely different from anything else I've ever seen before. So if you want, uh, we're going to go take a look at the software next. Okay, we're going to take a look at the um, smart technology software that comes with the RAT7 mouse. Uh, this uh, package lets you program the mouse buttons. So we'll just uh, click on the programming menu here and um, you can see uh, each of the mouse buttons that we can program. There's five all together. Uh, first is the um, scroll wheel button, then you have the forward mouse button for the browser, and then the backward mouse button, and then you have the left and right uh, scroll wheel being two buttons. So that's five all together. The way you do this is you just uh, click on the button you want to program. Let's say in this case I want to program the uh, side mouse button here, the forward button, and just click on that and say what uh, key you want it to be on the keyboard. So in this case let's just make it a Z key and, um, and just checkbox that and we're going to name it. Just call it Z button. Okay, so that should define it so that when we press this uh, side button, it's going to be as if I press the Z key on the keyboard. All right, we'll uh, just going to save this. Going to call it test. Okay, and we can try it out here. They've included a little test button within the package, and you can just uh, try it out. There it is. You can see on the screen. Hopefully, I'm pressing the Z. All right. And before we leave the interface here and try it out, let's take a quick look at some of the other settings here. We've got, um, on this screen, we can set the sensitivity of the mouse. You have four um, mode sensitivity uh, DPI settings you can do. And uh, you can uh, set them together, or you can set them individually on the X and Y axes. So let's restore that back to the defaults. All right, so now we're going to test our little macro out. And we'll go down to the system tray here. And we have to activate the, um, the profile that we want to use. In this case, it's called test. So the green icon is now showing. And I have uh, 3D Pinball up here. Let me try that. So if I click the um, forward mouse button on the mouse, it should do the Z key which is the left paddle. And that's pretty much it. There is, you can pr program much more complicated macros than that, but that's the basic way of doing it. Uh, visit crazypc.com. Thank you.